gentlemen, and welcome back to the Commerce Casino here in the city of Commerce, California, just south of downtown Los Angeles, not far from Hollywood, but the glitz and glamour that we care about, the mixed martial arts glitz and glamour happening here inside of what normally houses the world's largest poker room, now trying to contain the world's fastest growing sport. Thanks again for joining us here for Bama USA Presents Bad Beat 3. I'm the Yakman Ron Yakovetti. And when I step into anywhere like something challenging like poker rooms or mixed martial arts arenas, I bring backup. Backup to my right. None other than Mr. RJ Clifford, my favorite color commentator. RJ, great to be back with you here. We are back on the Pro Am show. Very exciting to see again the emergence of the amateur movement and the continuing growth of mixed martial arts on the pro level. You know, always happy to work with you, Yakman. Yeah, this really is a weird intersection of amateur fighters building up their careers, professional fighters trying to take off their professional careers in a fun setting like a, like a gambling hall or a poker room. Two of my favorite things under one roof. Absolutely. Me and me and fighting. Yeah, absolutely. Those Three two of your favorite things, perhaps. <laughs> well, with that, now giving myself a little bit of credit being one of RJ's top favorite things, and I may be wrong, we get now set to go to the action cage side for Bama USA's Bad Beat Three. Stay with us. Here comes the fight. Our tale of the tape now for our first combatant in the amateur ranks, David Bernal from Colton, California, a Muay Thai specialist from Total MMA Studios under Giuliano Prado. And the guy trying to take him down, Edgar Gonzalez, out of Team Hex. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai specialist. Hometown is Colton, California, and a former Marine infantry run. We see these two guys size up, same weight, but a height difference. Bernal with a four-inch advantage. And while the Marine is Edgar Gonzalez, the video game developer is Bernal. So let's see if the guy who plays the war game or the guy who actually competed in war games is the better fighter. Here we go. Edgar Gonzalez in the blue, David Bernal in the red. And we get things off kicking, literally. Both fighters exchanging kicks. Three two-minute rounds. This is scheduled for... Again, Bernal in the red, Gonzalez in the blue. Gonzalez in, in top position right here and going right to the mount and dropping down shots on Bernal. Yeah, this could be ended very, very early, Ron. He is in trouble. Bernal is taking a lot of hits, and that's it. Wow. 20 seconds or so, Edgar Gonzalez, just like that. Kick, takedown, mount, punch. Game over. David Bernal had a lot to contend with in a very short period of time. That's the crash course in mixed martial arts right there. This time, David Bernal, who now drops to one and two. Edgar Gonzalez gets his amateur debut win. Yep, so we know what happened, but we have to make it official. So we're going to throw it to Joe Martinez in the cage so he can say those magical words. So again, Edgar Gonzalez is really impressive with his overwhelming taking advantage of and control of Bernal. And again, a somewhat of a throwback thing we saw earlier on in mixed martial arts, guys like Phil Veroni, for example, would just overwhelm and swarm people with barrages of very effective punches, and he seemed to do something similar to that. Yeah, when you see an overwhelming fight, very one-sided like that, it's kind of fun to see. You see a guy like Eric Gonzalez, you put all that work into it, weeks and weeks of training, and you know what? I'm out of there in less than 30 seconds. Can't complain.